Hey, welcome to Cox Family Travels. Today we are at Brett's Wildlife Lodge and Winery in Carlisle, Illinois. And Kayla, what's different about this place? Well, it's not a state park. <gasps> it's not. <laughs> it's not, and it's not really a private park either, or a private campground. Say what? <laughs> It is part of the Harvest Host Network, mm -hmm. which you uh, pay a membership fee to be a part of Harvest Host, and then they give you a list of different wineries, farms, just d and sometimes it's just people's private residence. Right. Uh, they have room for you to park your RV for for a night. Uh, we have a self-contained unit, so mm -hmm. it works for us. Um, and they don't have hookups usually in, in places like this. I mean, occasionally one will, but this right. one didn't. Um, you just come here and boondock, and this is our first boondock experience too yeah. so that's been really neat like we've been out here on the road for four months at this point right. uh -huh. and we hadn't used harvest host yet we got it the first week when we started out we we're yeah. like okay gotta get a harvest host and then we didn't use it at all in florida right. and now i'm kicking myself because i'm thinking oh this would have been so cool down there now but, we now we weren't near any at that time right yeah but yeah. the the membership was only 50 dollars mm -hmm. yeah uh, for a year mm -hmm. um and then i guess at that point they say okay pay again so that way you can get the new list right. and then also be right, a member a and able it. to go to the thing. Right, yeah. So for here, the check-in was pretty simple. They ask you to, to like within Harvest Host's system, they ask you to call at right. least 24 hours ahead of time. Yeah. We didn't do that. We didn't know where we were going to be. Yeah. But they were very accommodating. Yeah. Uh, they had a place for us. The The lot here is really, really big. Flat. Yeah, flat, gravel-packed. Mm -hmm. So we just came out here to the north corner. We were able to turn on our generator um, and, and be all set to go. Mm -hmm. Check-in process was simple. They just right. had you sign a little sign-in sheet, right. put your member number and all that stuff, and you were mm -hmm. good to go. Yeah. Um, Tell us about your time in the winery. Right. So, you know, part of the Harvest Host thing, they say, it, you know, please buy something from the Harvest Host because, you know, it just makes sense. These are small businesses. They're opening up their, you know, property to you. And it's just a really nice thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a neat experience. And so uh, this place uh, has a restaurant and it also sells uh, wine. They make their own wine here. Right. Um, and uh, also they have like a full bar, I think. Well, I don't know if it's a full bar. Don't quote it me looked on like that. it to me. It looked, yeah, it looked like a, a substantial bar but they have like an outdoor like volleyball vo volleyball courts and stuff really neat but I was just interested in just trying some wine because we have been on the road uh, for hours yesterday I don't know yeah. how many miles we traveled yesterday but we started out in Tennessee Murfreesboro and traveled up this way uh -huh. so uh, so I was really pretty tired I just kind of wanted to try the wine buy some wine and I you know I thought I don't know if it's going to be any right. good, you know, like I'm going to buy some, you know, but I didn't know how much of it. Uh, right. Yeah. We drink it. But uh, they give you a free tasting here, which was cool That's to nice. me. Yeah. Like they, they do that. That's just, you know, something they do. And uh, so I tried, I think six different wines I posted on Instagram because I was like decisions decisions <laughs> because the guy who uh, I can't remember his name right off the top of my head but he was super nice very knowledgeable about their wines was very good at describing you know what I should be tasting and they were all fantastic it mm -hmm. was so hard to choose I ended up buying three bottles of wine yeah. which was more than what I really thought I would buy but it was so good like the really high quality wine you could tell they really care about their product right. the, the labeling that was neat too like the, it's all the, a safari kind of theme, like you know, zebras and and you yeah, know, there's giraffes and animal heads all yeah, within the the yeah. winery. It's pretty neat. It is really neat. Yeah, it was it was a really cool experience. The people were very nice. Uh, and then you know we had a glass of wine while we watched the sunset out here on the property. I, I love it, yeah. man. It makes me want to start going to more more harvest host places in the future. Right. Yeah. It's a it's a scenery that you wouldn't get in some other places. Mm -hmm. like you can see the silos out there. So right. we were sitting in our chairs just watching the sunset over the farmland, which we think there's soybeans and corn. We think so, yeah. Uh, we know corn for sure. Yeah. We think that's soybeans <laughs> over there. We're like pretty close, pretty close to being sure. Right. Uh, but overall, this was a great first boondocking experience. Mm -hmm. We were yeah. able to uh, run our generator because there's no there's no residences right. mm -hmm. or other businesses or anything around mm -hmm. uh, to disturb. Um, so overall, a very positive experience. Yeah. And I know yeah. that we will uh, look forward to doing other harvest host boondocking uh, things in the future. Yeah. yeah, and definitely if you're ever in southern Illinois, and even if you're not, come out here and give them mm -hmm. a try because, man, really neat wines. They make it all here. Just a really cool experience. Yeah. yeah. Well, 
Have you ever done the Harvest Host experience or even boondocking? Tell us uh, what it was like for you and what kind of places you found. Mm -hmm. uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.